As we head into Children's Miracle Weekend, yet another example of how world-class research at Children's Hospital is helping families now. Here's Deb once again with NewsHour Insight. Deb. Yes, Chris, the McIver family has not one but two children who have cystic fibrosis, the disease that can make you feel like you're drowning on the inside. They have been regular customers of Children's Hospital, where research has spawned new treatments that will give the girls a better shot at a longer life. Tanya Beja reports. That's three. Four. For 10-year-old Katrina McIver, this is a daily routine. She forces air through her lungs to clear out the mucus and breathe more easily. It's life-saving, but not something Katrina enjoys. It's wasting all your playtime in the morning and night. At night, you have to be home early. I don't like it. Why not? Because then you barely have time to get ready and stuff. Katrina and her younger sister, Kiera, both have cystic fibrosis. Kiera was diagnosed as a newborn and spent her first few weeks in hospital. Katrina's diagnosis came days later. The learning curve, it was like going back to school, overwhelming. Half of the stuff we were told just went in ear, one ear and out the other. You're still trying to absorb the fact that your children are sick and have this illness that there is no cure for and learning the possibility that there is a chance I might live longer than my children. It's a possibility Kelly McIver knows well. A decade ago, she lost her cousin to cystic fibrosis at the age of 20. It's too bad they didn't have the treatment and the antibiotics and the stuff they know about cystic fibrosis today, because I truly believe her life would have been expanded. Over the course of three decades, research into cystic fibrosis at places like BC Children's Hospital has helped improve the lifespan of patients by nearly 20 years. When I started working in this field, uh, they were living uh, till uh, late uh, teen years, uh, early 20s, and now the life expectancy is in the mid-40s. Dr. David Spirit maintains the world's largest collection of bacteria from patients with cystic fibrosis. The bacteria doesn't normally harm healthy individuals, but in people with CF, it can become resistant to antibiotics and cause deadly lung infections. The goal is to prevent infections, and if we can find a way to prevent infections, that will be great. The girls take dozens of pills daily to ward off infections, but still end up in hospital up to four times a year. The family is hopeful a cure to cystic fibrosis is in the making. Just for these guys to get the best chance, really, is, is our hope. I just want it gone. <laughs> just want it gone so we can just be a family.